All right, I'm going to mention this because I have never so not looked forward to a game like the Seahawks 49ers game. The Seahawks have no business, absolutely no business being here. The only thing going for this game is that it's an NFC West game, so it's interdivision. Technically, it's third times. It's hard to, you know, that whole damn thing. But the 49ers should absolutely make the Seahawks look like dog's ass this weekend. This shouldn't be any competition. That's how I feel, too. Like, look at what the Seahawks have been. Look at what the 49ers are with Brock Purdy, who is now, I don't know if you've seen anything on social media, getting Patrick Mahomes, early years Patrick Mahomes comparisons from people's everybody thinking he's the next Mahomes. So, you know, you're doing something right if you're in that kind of company. And he's looked like it. Like, he's he doesn't make – a lot of mistakes like for a guy who's the last pick in the NFL draft like you would expect at some point he's going to look like a rookie I keep waiting for that shoe to drop and it just doesn't which is a testament to the coaching a lot of people were giving Kyle Shanahan shit earlier in the year and they do pretty much every year you know he's a guy that is a lot responsible for the 28 to three you know what I mean as the offensive coordinator that's so people give him shit a lot but but he's an amazing coach and it's showing so Coming into this game, I don't think this is going to be close. It's probably going to look a lot like the game the 49ers just played. That was 38 to 10. So go ahead and give me the Niners to absolutely dog walk Pete Carroll and this Seahawks team. Absolutely. And you know how I feel about quarterback controversies. There is a hell of a quarterback controversy brewing in San Francisco right now. There's a th- there's a three way controversy. I don't know where Shanahan goes. Right. You're, you're invested in Trey Lance. Jimmy G's been your guy. You're invested in Trey Lance. But Brock Purdy is getting it done. And when it comes – push comes to shove, you just need somebody that's going to get it done. And I would hate to be – in. I mean, I'd love to be in his shoes. I'd have a different car probably. But I'd hate to be in his shoes. Um, it would be interesting to see what they do. But, but the 49ers are – Shanahan is a good coach. They are right where they should have been the last couple of years. Injuries have kept them out. Uh, kept his name down, but the 49ers are forced to be reckoned with in this NFC playoff picture this year. They could certainly have what it takes to get to the end. Yeah, absolutely. Like you, you want to talk about teams that are going to get to the Super Bowl. Like if anybody's going to de- dethrone the Eagles and probably could, like, like I'll be frank with you, in the NFC, I'm probably taking the Niners to get to the Super Bowl unless I see some sort of drop off. As we get into to the real competition, like the 49ers look unbeatable right now. And, and what a great problem to have as a Colts fan who had to endure Matt Ryan, Nick Foles, and Sam Ellinger as my quarterbacks. Like, please let me have a QB room that has Trey Lance, Jimmy G, and Brock Purdy. Right. However, and I, I don't, we, we need to do, we need to do a video about this in general. All that, with Matt Ryan and Nick Foles and Sam Ellinger, all that falls on Jim Irsay. And we want to, we'll talk about that later. And I would love to know what you think about this game, what you think is going to happen, who you think is going to win. You let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you for the next video. 